rate of perceived effort, the RPE, because Media. RPE is a bad, bad measurement for hypertrophy. I, I've seen some competitors that have told me, oh, my coach is basing my progress over this. I'm like, that, that's damn, though, because I can make you do bicep curls with a barbell standing up with no support and your maximum rate of perceived effort is going to be through the roof you're like oh my god damn I'm, I'm you know generating hypertrophy i'm like no because i can sit you on a preacher curl one arm and then make you do a set where you're totally stable and you're not trying your cns and then the standing barbell curl seems like you're getting generating more hypertrophy but it's, that's not true <laughs> You don't want that. You don't want to be like a all sweaty and tired. That that that's again, it's cardiovascular endurance kind of workout. You you don't have to train like that. What we're looking for here is the precise, the least amount of exercise required.